Where you stand, Danny, with Deli Ali, reportedly <laughs> in talks with Bajiktas of Turkey, on loan or permanent? I mean, how's it got to this for him? I, I, I feel, I don't know, I do feel for him. He's, he has fallen off a cliff. Why do you feel for him? Um, I don't get that. You see, I'm with Simon on that. Ali McCoy said this morning, I, I, oh, this is sad. This is sad. sad I, for, I feel sad, for, I, sad for who? I feel for him because he's not consciously thought about falling off a cliff and making his career worse has he it's happened and, and it's happened over a year or two where he's he's found himself in the doldrums he's found himself low on confidence probably without the right support probably fallen into there's the there's no tra- evidence of that without the right support he's an appalling trainer we've been told this by Mourinho that everyone's sort of knocked away as an all or nothing sort of sensation yeah, but when, so let me finish when you're, for, Everton, when you're falling into the trap of, of into, when you fall into a comfort zone in your career which is facilitated by finance, by fame, by adoration, all those things. He fell into a trap of believing the hype. He was an England player, playing well for Tottenham, super talent, and then the work ethic drops. When that happens, you need some really good guidance and you need some resilience and some balls to get out of it. You, you need some help. Do you not do, do, so, you do it yourself? You, well, you have to, but you need some guidance But he well. made it about other things. He changed his agent yeah. from Rob Seagal to other people. He made it about other things. I mean, I sat here when he went to Everton and said, what in Christ's name are Everton doing this for? He's not played for them. He's done precisely nothing. And he's going out to Turkey. This player's career is going one way. And I, I don't think he can get I don't think he can get it back. You I, think think beyond one, it, I think once well, a pilot light goes out on a gas burner, you, sometimes you can't reignite it. I don't think it's coming. I, don't, I agree. I agree. But what, what I would say is... So you, we've seen the best of them. Yeah, I think so. But what I would say is you said you said he has got and he should have a good support network. Those particular examples you've just given suggest to me he hasn't. Yeah. And, right. and, and over a period of time, Jim, because I spent a good few years in a position where I was making decisions myself, living my life, doing what I wanted to do with good people who love me around me but didn't know how to guide me. And I'd have fallen off a cliff if it wasn't for Julio. He showed me the way. Now, I grabbed you could, it. You couldn't have done it yourself? No, I don't think so, because I didn't know some of the... They're why. also young men, and you've got to give them some latitude, because if you've got everybody around you, the football world had this propensity to build people up to state to levels that they're not at. Deli Ali, Ali was a really good player, but he was never at the level that people were saying he was no. at, right? He so, had a couple of brilliant... And then, he, and then he started to build into his own hype. And if you haven't got sensible voices, and a lot of football people players don't have it because what they have is people around them blowing smoke up their yeah. backsides telling them how wonderful they are whilst making money off them and there's a real balance and you can never tell players they well you're the chairman you're not interested in what I'm doing you're only interested in getting the best interest for yourself and then five years later the same players will come back and say actually you did have my best interests at heart and I do understand what you're saying mm. but you can't tell these kids this because you're in a world where the media are writing all these headlines about how wonderful they are he's getting endorsements from massive brands that are saying to him we want to see you on billboards around the country he's getting paid 50 to 100 grand a week and what do you do? You, you either believe it proper, or you don't you need proper I don't think he's got a, a, enough of a parental framework I don't think his dad's involved in his life 